take stability, for example. Yeah. Um, you know, the, st the Miller stability rule that we use to characterize twist rate and stability for, you know, modern centerfire bullets, that doesn't really work at subsonic. You know, some people try to use it there not understanding its limit, but it's based around boat tails, spitzer nose projectiles at 2,800 feet a second. You know, it's, it's for modern supersonic bullets. Does not work at, at subsonic. It's not supposed to. And that's something that I'm working on now actually is a formula that characterizes subsonic stability. Um, you know, there, we have a lot of data that we've shot on radar. So like we have the raw beginnings of this, uh, but it's my, what I'm trying to do is formulate a relationship between, you know, twist rate, bullet length, caliber, weight, all those variables to characterize like, Hey, here's where you're going to have stability. Here's where you're not. And it's a very different relationship than at supersonic because of the aerodynamics and the relationship of center of mass and center of pressure.